Welcome to this tutorial request in which we will be re-exploring the Echo Slay Animation project, uh, the Windwalker Echo, and we will be turning it into sort of like an uncharted slash Lara Croft kind of uh, base by introducing uh, some more states and some weapon animations. So let's just jump into it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So here we are inside of Windwalker Echo, the anim project available from Slay. Uh, this anim uh, project has the ability to run around with Echo in a very smooth fashion like this. Uh, you can disregard the little flying uh, companion there. It's from a different tutorial that is in this same project. But what we have done in this project is we have added on her back. We have a weapon on her back currently, and we have the ability to equip this weapon. And we have the ability to unequip this weapon. Also, if we have the weapon equipped, we can reload. And so we need to actually have it equipped to allow the reload animation to play. And that is what that looks like. And in addition to that, we also have the ability to aim when we have the weapon equipped. So that's what that looks like. And we can also do these things while running, so we can unequip the weapon, equip the weapon, reload the weapon, and also aim while running around. So yeah, that's what we will be creating in this series. For this tutorial I'm making use of two different asset packs from the Epic Marketplace. The first one is the Animation Starter Pack, you can find it under Free and Epic Games Content to locate this, so make sure that you add that to your project. The second asset that we're using is the FPS Weapon Bundle Pack, you can find it here. It is under the category of Permanently Free Collection on the Epic Marketplace. So here we are back in Unreal Engine version 4.27 in the Windwalker Echo uh, project. So to show you around, this is the project, you can disregard the little flying companion here, it's from a different tutorial, it doesn't really uh, play a part in this. But we have this smooth uh, animation that's working for Windworker Echo, and she also has the ability to like inverse uh, kinematic on uh, different grounds that are not level to make it look nicer. So this is the animation that we will be building upon, uh, and we'll do that immediately. So first off, we want to find our anim starter pack. We can go into the folder that says. UA4 mannequin and mesh and we'll find a skeleton and we can delete it. Uh, for the replace reference we can take the one that's called echo skeleton and then we'll replace the references. We save selected. There we go, and now to check if this works, we can go into one of the animations here, any really, and we can just, uh, let's take this crouch back backwards. So this is what the animations will look like now. So they have been uh, scaled improperly for the skeletons, they haven't been properly retargeted. This we fix by showing the retarget options, and we go and we recursively set animation scaled, Sorry, not animation scaled. We set them to skeleton. And then we set the animation scaled for the two root and pelvis, uh, like so. And now the animations look okay. So we'll save this and close this out for now. So now whenever we open up these, uh, when we're showing animations for her, they won't all show up un unless we have actually opened them up once, but all of these animations are now available for the skeleton of Windwalker Echo if we want to make use of them. And to start off, what we are going to be creating are a few montages. So we can make montages now immediately actually. Uh, let's find if we type in uh, pistol, and then we have equip pistol standing. We'll make a montage of this one. We can keep the name and we can actually duplicate this for later and have instead unequip as the name for that one. We also want to make a montage of the reload pistol, like so. 
and save it like so. And then we want to open up the idle pistol as well. And save and close. There. Now all of those assets should be available for us. So let's start setting up the, uh, the montages. So right off the bat, we want to open up our blueprint. In this case, I have the echo blueprint over here. And we have, um, let's create some inputs. We'll go to project settings. We'll go to inputs and let's create some action mappings. Let's create a, a reload. We'll set it for the keyboard. Can click here and click R. Then we'll add another one and we'll call this one um, equip slash arm. We can use the one key or something like that for that. Uh, we'll have another one which we'll call unequip uh, disarm. We can use the two key for that. And I think that will be all that we need for here. So we'll close this down, go back to echo. And since I have done some tutorials here before, I'm going to be moving them away a little bit. I'm going to remove the R key so I don't get a conflict with the one that we've already set up. But essentially what we want to do now is we want to get our events, which are the equip one, equip arm. We want to get the unequip one. And we want to get the uh, reload one. So now we have those three events available, so we can make use of them a little bit later. Uh, next up, we want to actually uh, play our uh, montage. So let's actually add on reload here, play montage. Not, yeah, actually that one will be fine. Uh, target self and in montage and this one we want to get the uh, reload pistol montage over here now we need to set up our uh, blueprint a little bit because uh, what i want to do is i want to make sure that uh, we don't translate the whole montage over we just want to take the top half uh, so that we can actually use reload on the move and it will look okay. So if we open up our mesh for our echo character and we double click on that one, we can go to our animation blueprint over here. This way we get the echo post process and in blueprint. This is not the one that we are after currently. So if we instead go to our mesh over here on our echo character, you can see that we have an echo and in BPC here. This is the one we want to open up. So, and from here we want to go to our anim graph. And this is what that one looks like. And here we want to add some logic for our uh, montage. So the idea here is sort of that here is where our montage will be playing. And we have a bunch of other stuff happening here as well. So what we want to do is First of all, we want to cache this pose over here and we'll call this uh, full body. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And then we want to use our cache because we don't want to uh, actually break the chain here. So we had a chain here before, so now we're just inserting the cache again so it can resume. And the purpose of us doing that is so that we can make use of it a little bit later because now this is going to represent what we play in our upper body. So we need to have a lower body now. So we're going to take the full body cache that we had from over here to use as our lower body. We can disconnect this for now. We'll right click and we'll get a layer blend uh, per bone. And this one can take two poses. So we have the one that we're gonna use for the lower part and the one for the upper part. And it can, has a, it can have a blend weight here now. So we're gonna say that whenever we're playing a montage, we're gonna be blending in uh, that completely. 
So let's see here. No, sorry, I, I said that wrong. We're, we're always going to be blending in the full uh, full body for the lower body, uh, but the lower the the top body is just going to be played when it's actually playing over uh, the existing uh, pose over here. So. We need to set this one up a little bit. We need to add a layer. We need to add a branch here. It gets two members and we need to set a bone for us to translate this from. And spine zero two is a bone that I feel like works fine. Uh, blend depth if we want to have a, a gradual transition of the bone. In this case, we want to have the mesh space rotation set and we also want to have use max value because that's the best uh, result uh, that I've gotten when it comes to implementing these changes. So like so, and then we save. And let's see here, we have, we set the montage there. Let's try this out and see what it looks like. So we can run around, we can press R, she does a reload animation, we can run, pressing R, and the running animation still looks nice and smooth. So that's good. Next up, let us add a weapon to this model. So if we go into the Echo character's skeleton over here, we can go and click somewhere on the right hand. Now I got luck and actually hit the right hand immediately. We can uh, create a socket here and in this hand socket we can save and then hand socket we can add a preview asset I'm going to be using something called 11x here the one that says 11x in the end uh, there's one without a stock and one with a stock so I'm gonna take the skeleton mesh with a stock and this is what it looks like currently it is a little bit uh, rotated in the wrong way so we're going to be changing that so we'll turn it around 180 degrees and then we also want to change the translation a little bit make sure that let's lower our sensitivity for camera and we want to move it down a little bit Let's remove the attached asset for now. Might be easier to find a good spot without it to begin with. Something like that perhaps. We'll add the preview assets back. And that's what it looks like. It looks okay. We can pull it forward a little bit and that probably looks a little bit better. So now we have a weapon, what it's going to look like when we're holding it in the hand. And this is for reference later on. But we actually need to create the weapon that we're going to be using later on as well. So we will go to our folder and we'll create a blueprint class of type actor. We'll call this BP underscore weapon. Go in there. We add a skeletal mesh. So and for that we find the 11x mesh like so. So now we have that. So now we can just plug this into our socket when we want to make use of it. So we can close this out for now. But in addition to having the weapon in the hand here also, we want to do something else. Uh, we want to play an animation here of Let's see. Um, not the idle one. Not the reload. We want. Uh, we maybe. There we have a quick one standing. This one will be good. So, this is what it looks like when she equips her weapon. And we're going to be using this one for. Might want to move it a little bit later on, but that's fine for now. Tweaking can always be done later. 
but we want to have it so that when she drags it behind her back like this and places it here we have another weapon position or a socket here where we can just uh, let loose and pick it up from when we want to unequip and uh, equip so i'll add another uh, socket on spine zero one uh, the, the, the add socket and we'll add the same uh, asset preview asset let's see like so and 11x now the asset is going to be inside of her but we can see it if we move it out a little bit so what I want to do now is essentially mirror so it has exactly the same position as it does in the animation of this particular uh, frame. And uh, then, so I'll go I'm going to be cutting the clip here now while I fit it around with it. So you'll see the end result afterwards, but you don't need to like follow me along when I'm doing that. So I'm just going to be cutting that bit out and I'll be back soon. Here I am with the finished result. So it's not perfect, but it's decent, I think. Essentially, this is what it looks like. So she pulls the weapon back behind her back. And here it is almost identical. So that is where I can make the switch of uh, equipping and unequipping. And that is what we will be continuing with in the next episode. See you there. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.